Okay, so where I am right now is um, a culvert that runs under the road, like a metal culvert, and it's surrounded with a rock wall here, um, and it is also on the other side, and then there's like a shale bank along the side of it, and uh, it's actually, it serves as a uh, snake den for garter snakes, uh, milk snakes, and another species that we're going to try to find today, which is uh, mimic. Not the right species, but like I said, there are a lot of snakes around here, like this garter snake. This is a pretty handsome one. It's got really strong brown patterning on him. Uh, looks like he just shed, probably. But this is where the snakes overwinter in here, is kind of down in the culvert and in the rock wall. Why don't we check the other side? This is the other side of the culvert, which um, usually has a lot of snakes as well. So we're going to lift up some of the rocks around the edges of the metal pipe. It's probably a little too hot on top there. Nothing on that. We got what we were looking for. This is the northern ringneck snake, and uh, he's actually uh, an example of Batesian mimicry. And basically, what that means is it'll display bright colors um, that would usually be displayed by a toxic species in the area, and that would be to deter predators. So, here you can see the stomach is bright yellow. This one is opaque, meaning he's about to shed. So he's got blue eyes on him. But uh, I'm gonna get a little close up and talk about him. All right, so here he is. This is the northern ringneck snake. Um, you can see around his neck there, he's got a yellow ring, which can be a lot more bright and uh, contrasted to a darker back on other ones, but this one is opaque and in general he's just not a really vibrant specimen. But so typically on the back like this they're really dark anywhere from slate gray to black. Um, but then I'll show you on the stomach here. Let's see if we can get him to turn over. On the stomach, you know, he's anywhere from a bright yellow to orange, and here you can see he's got black dots down the center, and that's um, something you see not as much in the northern ringneck snake than the southern ringneck snake. So that's kind of unusual, unusual for this individual, but um, yeah, he's a example of Batesian mimicry because uh, other species in the wild display bright colors so when a predator like say a crow because this is such a small snake if he were out on the crawl in the open would try to eat them and they'll curl their tail when they're getting defensive and they'll show their bright colors like this and uh, that can usually deter a predator. So we're gonna go find a different example of mimicry. It, um, this is the next place our search for mimics has brought us, and there's one species in particular that I'm trying to find here. And uh, so we're basically at the source of a very pristine stream. 
And here's one of the feeder springs. And if we actually walk up that way, we're going to find the spring that actually starts part of the stream. Um, so, and we're going to walk the stream and a few springs up uh, maybe 100 meters or so, trying to find the species. And, uh, well, we'll just see how that goes. Here we go. This is the northern red salamander. Um, and it took me long enough to find them, actually. Uh, even though I'm in the perfect habitat, see how this is a, a feeder spring to the creek back there. And uh, I, I'm usually able to find them here, but like I said, they're not a very common species up here, up north in the Poconos. Um, they're more of a southern species of salamander. Uh, so down in some, like the southern states, it's a little bit easier to find them. But um, he is an example of, again, Batesian mimicry because he's not a toxic salamander, but um, this one is a little bit duller than some you might find, but they can be anywhere from a more yellowy brown color like this to bright red, as their name implies, the northern red salamander. Um, but another type of mimicry that this guy uh, you could consider is using is malarian mimicry. Uh, and you could say that he's imitating the eastern newt, which is a toxic species of amphibian around here. Um, and basically, in malarian mimicry, it's, uh, it's just like a coral snake and a scarlet king snake, or whatever other type of animal, uh, when one animal will mimic the other. And uh, this is basically the effect that this guy has on a predator. So uh, we're gonna let this guy go back into the spring and thanks for watching.